Hello! Day number 20. Another gaming recommendation for the Saturday season of Halloween. That, of course, is Gargoyle's Quest 2 for the NES. Now, the reason why I recommend this game is it's just obviously Halloween themed. It screams it, it shouts at the top of its lungs, it's fantastic. And it looks pretty in pink. But no, uh, basically, the game itself. Gargoyle's Quest 2, it has a hybrid nature to it, where it's a platformer and it mixes in some RPG elements, not completely endowed or engrossed inside of RPG elements, but it has, you know, action, adventure, RPG elements mixed into them, where you're role-playing, where it has sort of like a story going for it as you're going along, and for the time when it came out, it wasn't obviously super crazy received. It was received enough where it had innovation within the genres it was representing. And it did a damn fine job. You know, it got favorable reviews, but it was brutally hard. A lot of people were like, damn, this is a hard game. But fantastic title in itself. But yes, I recommend Gargoyle's Quest 2 for your holiday season playing. While I don't completely endorse uh, emulation, I would say, you know, because it's a little bit of an expensive game to find, rent it, or, of course, from your local renter store. By renting, I mean just get the fucking ROM, you know, or get it through the Virtual Console, of course, too. I mean, that's another option, which, you know, if you get the Wii Virtual Console, you can get it there as well, and have yourself a good old playing experience. And you support the local person. Otherwise, if you don't got the money, you don't got the set we use, just bootleg it. It's a very expensive game. <laughs> People are like, oh, he said that. Well, come on, it's common freaking sense here. If someone's recommending a game for you, and it's like you can't really afford it, but you really want to play it or something like that, it's, it's, it's a whatever, you know. Common sense. It's not the end of the world. I don't think Copcom truly gives a shit anymore about this game other than the money they make from revenues from this said digital purchase. But, again, if you can find it physical, really affordable, go for it. Just go for it. But, yes, take it easy. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.